everybody, it's Aviation LHR here. Today I'll be showing you how I made my model airport. But let's get straight onto it. Here you can see an MDF board with parts of frog tape. I use this as a guide. You can also see some pencil and I used planes to measure out my gates and taxiways and through runway. Here you can see me measuring out planes using a pencil and a large piece of MDF board. I also used a measuring tape as some of the uh, longer parts of the airport, like the runway I had to measure. Here you can see the grey base of the majority of the airport. On the right, you can also see the black of the runway. The edges aren't neat yet, however when we peel the satisfying frog tape, it will end up being neat. You can also see a gap in the middle, because that's where the terminal will be and it would... Here you can see me measuring out the gates with other planes. I also covered the terminal area in a black for the road and the grassy bits in a dark green. I also used different shades of grey for the minority of the area. Here you can see me using fairy lights and spare MDF for the terminal. As well you can see the battery pack inside. Later on we glued it in and drilled a hole in the middle of our airport so we could connect it to the switches which you'll see later on. As well we used tin foil as well as some card and a sharpened knife to create that window effect to it. We also used Gorilla Glue to glue the fairy lights onto the terminal. Here you can see the end result with the planes. We also added some square markings in pencil and rubbed them a bit to create that kind of messy and used tyre effect. Here you can see the airport in night with the glowing up terminal as well as the runway lights. We made the runway lights by drilling in holes using a drill and then putting Christmas lights up the hole just so it's level with the MDF board and it creates a nice effect with the landing pattern. Here you can see the terminal in the daylight with the planes and the Gemini Jets GSC. I've also added the base markings of the red surrounding the aircraft as well as the majority of the taxiway in yellow. Here you can see the majority of my aircraft. I also created a little stand area on the right hand side and a little diorama on the left hand side. Ground markings have an important effect to create a sense of realism in your model airport. You can see it says max band 70 meters. This refers to an A380 cannot fit through the terminal. I made this using a stencil. Here you can see it says a large one and a small one. And I used Posca pens to create that vivid and bright effect to it. Here you can see some gate markings. Now you have the main taxiway area of the gate and you have some smaller details. You can also see bits of white and some blue to, to show the passengers where to exit and go into the terminal as well as a bus lane to guide the buses in case they're at a further stand. Here you can see the finished terminal. On the right there is a lot more detail as you can see. It says A5, A4, etc. as well as the passenger area and the bus. However, on the left hand side of the terminal, it's a bit bare. You only have GSC and jet bridges and maybe some herpolites compared to this side, where there's a lot more extravagant detail. Here you can see the beautiful Airbus A380-800 with the terminal in the background. On this side of the airport, it's not as messy and it looks really neat. However, on the bottom side of the airport, you can see all the lights. It's extremely messy and kind of hard to do. You can see the center is the Christmas lights. I use these for the runways, which I've mentioned before, and these lights, which are the red lights that 
uh, are on the edge of the runway. Here down below you, you can see there's a bit sticking out. I use that as the battery kind of area so to store all the batteries and above that is the ILS box and the switches which I bought on Timu. You can see these lights that are wrapping around the whole edge of the terminal. Those are the green lights that you can see above. Here you can see at the top you have the ILS box as well as some switches. There's multiple switches which I bought on Timu and you can also see the batteries below. The, this first one controls a flashing green light at the end of the runway. This might not be realistic, however I do like it. Here you can see the runway lights stretching across the Christmas lights. Here you can see the red lights which are on the edge. There you can see the flashing yellow lights here near the runway to indicate that they're not allowed. They are also near the scaffolding at the other edge of the runway. You can also see the terminal lighting up. But yeah, there you can see sort of flashing. When you see it at night, it does look cool. And finally, here you have the green lights that wrap around the whole airport. Now we're just going to go into a smooth transition of the airport here from day all the way to night. It does look a lot cooler. You can see they're quite bright. You can see the flashing yellow and green lights a lot more. And you can also see the terminal lighting up. I also added a control tower that, that lights up. However, I haven't connected it to the switches yet. So that is my next project. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for part two. See you in the next one. Bye.